Yes. And call six witnesses as follows. One, Lovega Johnson. Two, Chomohendro Jessica. Three, Olumu David. Four, Naigaga Deborah. Five, Nalukeng Farida. Six, Kafero Dan. Other than Lovega Johnson, who is on remand together with the A1. The other intended witnesses are, the other intended witnesses address is or address for that matter which uh, were cited by A1 to be at Mabito, where A1 was working before he was arrested. He also indicated that he did not have their telephone contacts or the location where they were staying. He asked for shillings 50 million to enable him publish advertisements in various uh, radio stations, television stations, and on social media to secure their attendance. Counsel for the prosecution, that is Jonathan Mwaganya, prayed that A1 gives the court specific particulars of each of his witnesses, which would include their names, their places of abode, uh, where they work and their telephone contacts where applicable and that the contacts should be in terms of their last known addresses. Council for the prosecution also cited section 75 of the Trial on Enlightenment Act which is to the effect that the accused shall be allowed to examine any witness if, he, if the witness is in attendance, but he or she shall not be entitled as a matter of, of right to have any witnesses summoned other than those witnesses who, or whom she or he named to the magistrate court committing him or her for trial. Uh, in this case, the record does not indicate that A1, that is Mr. Kasolo, indicated to the Chief Magistrate's Court at Mengo that he desired to call the said witnesses. However, since A1 has, has named his witnesses as indicated above, I hereby direct that he provides, provides the particulars of his two witnesses to the deputy registrar to enable the deputy registrar to summon them to testify on his behalf. For the shillings 50 million, which was requested by A1, there is no legal basis for the claim for the same. All that is required is the court to summon witnesses that were named uh, during the committal of the accused person. If the said money was to be expended in the process, that would still be in the domain of the court, not the accused person. A1 is advised to avail the deputy registrar with the particulars of his witnesses to be summoned, in spite of the fact that he did not name them uh, during the committal 
at the magistrate's court. I find that it is in the interest of justice to do so, but subject to the accused person providing the particulars of the witnesses as I have ruled. I saw order. <laughs> Okay, but he referred to Section 75 of the Trial and Indictment Act, which is the thing that the accused shall be allowed to examine any witnesses if we, if the witnesses are in attendance, but he or she shall not be entitled as of right to have any. I've allowed you, even if you didn't call them, you didn't produce them during committee, I've still allowed you. But you will only be allowed to do, you will only, they will only be called if you provide their particulars, that is their address and all that. That's when this court can allow you to bring them. And that one will be done by the deputy registrar. Is the one who facilitates the calling of the witnesses for the prosecution. We're also giving you that opportunity for him to call yours. For the 50 million, even if it would be spent, it is not you who spends it, it is the deputy registrar who will spend. So if we can incur that expense of 50 million, still we can do it, but that will be the deputy registrar to do it, not you. <laughs> And in their places overboard. So how will you approach the deputy registrar? Now you explain to the deputy registrar. By the way, we can also incur those expenses in the press, and most likely we will do it. So explain to him all your circumstances. The registrar is here. So the prison's authorities will make sure that you see him and you tell him the particulars of your witnesses. Including spending the money if it is necessary. We are reporting to tomorrow, but it will not be possible. Who is that one?
Mwachitivu wa mulamuzi, nisabu wa kote mbewe ili ya kisa. Nchusi zemu kupulizo ni jayansi indika. Orenzo wanga wafunda kutisi kwa tuisi wanga winachiteka msaiti nwenti ya wanga kukwa galo kunzita. Nizo chiseka asani. Kasolo no no mune bevanti sati sera na nakite. Gamba angako, uchitu chona, hira koti nebe bange ya gale ukufuna kujuzo obisinga wawo, kuma fa prison nebe gale. Nesu nge yoku ilo echitivo mlamizi. Walio tusubiza ukutu waka, kuluri ingi ya sabu misoni ya no kesi tu ansa, nzenero oyo oyo. Na yesi manyo ba yeo wajimu wa, nenze sinajifuna. Nesu nga, eyo kusato echitivo mlamizi. Nisaba koto echitivo mlamizi, manye kubanga, umami oyo kari amu. Tulife na wano mudoku. Tuso lo banga koti ya genda mumaso. Na hata likira uwe loko kube nduru na agamba anti. Mugambi vigambo vyo kumuta. Hei. Saka kwa chita mzee venge chimanyi. Chukubange chigende luwa chavo. Chinende nolu doru wadi. Namo chiti wa mzee. Wechipe langa chiso voka. Hwa iba so. Nga siku lagi ilala wechipe langa chiso voka. Wechiti wa mna mzee. Koti wewe sowo la ukuna wewe muteka, wabanza ni bafu na wewe muteka, wabasi chini wala gira kubakamu bafu ba na ba polisoni. Wewe na jana havi ira wa umu maneno, na ba sowo lo kujuli da. Chembadun sababu koto chini wa mzizi zinzonga zani. Nenge sokeri, ane sawa chini wa mzizi tekewe kuri kodi. Tuzi simu gamba ngako, tekewe kuri kodi yomu sango gumu. Tuzi simu gamba ngako, yes. Hiyo wewe chini wa zomla nebo abe. Wachiti bomo la muzi, songa ngi soke gam, kari yangu na sif, ala yansi muongi, ala yansi, ala yansi muongi. Kwa hivyo, 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 Please, the man has made a request in open court. As you did for the other one without being directed by me, I hope you will also do for the other one. Have you had? Okay, please. It is urgent to the sick.